Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is chapter 31 of Really Fake, and this one is titled Runner. I see, he said in a very professional voice. Yes, and, she added, your restaurant was too curled, which then cooled my meal down too quickly, and I couldn't enjoy it. Well, my apologies. Gus said with strained politeness, doing his best to maintain his composure in the face of such pettiness. As the manager, I would like to personally see to it that you are adequately compensated for tonight. I should hope so, she said hauntingly. If you ever want us to dine here again, then I suggest you change a number of things in this restaurant. Gus clamped down on his jaw to stop himself from saying anything, and you just stared at her in disbelief. Is she being serious right now? You ask yourself. And I see that my dear man here and you are friends, so it would be expected that we're given a lifetime discount, she added. Your eyebrows shot up so fast they nearly flew to Mars and Pa cleared his throat. Now, he said, to be honest, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but the floor has been wiggly for the past half hour and I'm worried someone's going to fall over. His comment broke the tension momentarily and Kuro cracked a smile as did Gus. Will you be needing a taxi? Gus asked Kuro, gesturing to Pa. Nah, it's fine. We'll be fine. Kuro replied with a light chuckle. But, Pa added, I can tell that my sweetheart isn't happy. Oh, thank you, sugar, Miss Marple interjected with a tone that screamed, took you frickin' long enough. But, honey bunch, you're being a right prune, Pa said bluntly, his mouth struggling to form proper words. And if you don't pull your head in, I'll pull it in for you. Oh, she gasped, acting utterly offended by his pointed comment. Wine makes you very rude, she snapped as she pretended to be close to tears. I'm going to freshen up, and when I get back, I expect an apology. And with that, she stood up and pushed her chair back before sauntering drunkenly towards the ladies' restroom. What's your policy on running? Pa asked Gus, and the manager looked at him for a moment. Go, he said quickly. I'll make her foot the bill. Seriously? You gasped excitedly. Because, I'm not going to lie, that would be amazing. I can't stand her. It would teach her a lesson, Pa said as he stood up very carefully. Easy, Pa, Kuro said with a chuckle as he reached out and held your Pa by the arm. But seriously, Gus, this floor's a hazard, Pa slurred, and Gus chuckled. I'll see to it that it's fixed by the time you come back, he said with a smirk. Now get going before she gets back, he added as he ushered you all towards the front door. I'll stop her leaving until she's paid. You're a godsend, Gus, you said gratefully. I'm not religious, but you're honestly an angel. Well, this isn't exactly the most kind thing to do, but... It's better to ask for forgiveness than for permission, your pa slurred wisely, and you cackled before quickly dragging the two boys off. Thank you again, Gus, you said gratefully. He waved you off with a broad smile. It's fine, he called out. My pleasure. I want ice cream, your pa said in a happily drunk voice as Kuro helped drag him down the street while you closed the restaurant doors behind you. Okay, hang on, let's get away from here first, you said as you looked back over your shoulder, hoping Miss Marple hadn't seen you leave. What type do you want? Kuro asked as he raised a hand to call for a taxi. Boysenberry swell, pa said happily. You have to try it, tit. Sounds good. Kuro commented as a taxi stopped and he helped Pa in before sliding in beside him and indicating for you to jump in the front seat. We're doing the old man version of a runaway bride, you said to the driver, who was sporting a thick moustache. Please get us away from here before the she-devil comes out of that restaurant. Maria Madre de Jesus Alvaggi, he whispered urgently in his mother tongue as he quickly pulled away from the curb and took off down the road. Where is the devil? You saved us, you said to him as he looked back in the side mirror. She didn't see us leave. Gracias, tío, he whispered to himself, crossing himself from head to chest, then right shoulder to left shoulder, then touching the rosary beads that were hanging from his rearview mirror. Hmm, saved by another Italian angel, Crow mused from the back seat. First Gus, now Antonio, the taxi driver said with a wide grin. A pleasure to save you, he added in a beautiful rich accent. Antonio, could you please take us to a good ice cream store, Crow asked. Pa here has had too much to drink and would like some ice cream. Certo, 
Antonio exclaimed. You hang on, I'll take you to the best ice cream parlor in town. You're a good man, Tony, Pa slurred from the back seat. It is my pleasure, sir. No one has called me Tony in since I arrived here in ten years, he regaled with a sigh. Hopped on a plane with my shoes and coat and a dollar to my name, he added, reliving his memories aloud. The rest of the taxi ride was basically Pa and Antonio swapping stories of growing up and how life had changed, and by the end of the trip they were basically best friends. Have a good night, Antonio said lovingly, as he let you all out at the ice cream shop. No fair, this ride is on me. No, no, Pa slurred as he let go of Kuro and stumbled over to the driver door, fumbling in his pocket for his wallet. Yeah, good man, please, take this home and clock off for the night. Pa added as he pulled out two crisp hundred dollar bills. Take care of your family. Antonio burst into tears. Que Dio te benedicta de volte, he cried, shaking your pa's hand like it was the last hand he'd ever shake. Grazie, grazie. Don't mention it, son, Pa said kindly. I'm just doing my good deed for the day. You stepped up beside Kuro and tenderly held his hand. You have a good pa, the Nakoma captain said softly down to you. I'm glad I've been a part of tonight. Same, he said. It's been wild. Oh, hey, speaking of wild, we need to block Miss Marple's number in Pa's phone, otherwise it won't stop ringing, he said with a devious chuckle. You can do that while I get him his boysenberry swirl, Kuro said, smiling as Pa turned back to the two of you, and Antonio pulled away from the curb, his taxi light now switched off for the night. First, I want to apologise for my terrible Italian. I hope that that was somewhat understandable for those that speak Italian. Stay tuned for the next chapter coming tomorrow and more Antonio in the future.